Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on algebraic fractions or simplifying algebraic fractions. I've done uh, one or two videos already on algebraic fractions. So in this exercise, I've got three different types of algebraic fractions to simplify. So by the end of this uh, video, hopefully, we will have covered most aspects of algebraic fractions that you come across in your exams. Right. For the first one, we have 2 divided by x squared plus 4x plus 3 minus 1 over x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now, the first thing to do here is to factorize, if we can, factorize the uh, denominators. So we end up with 2 over x plus 1 times x plus 3 minus 1 over x plus 2 times x plus 3. Now I can see that x plus 3 is common to both uh, denominators. So if we then multiply each term by x plus 3, uh, similar to what you do for equivalent fractions, uh, we end up with this here. We can now cancel out the x plus 3's, and uh, that's what you got. And then finally we have something like x, sorry, 2 over x plus 1 minus 1 over x plus 2. Now, the lowest common uh, denominator for these two terms will be x plus 1 into x plus 2. So if we divide x plus 1 times x plus 2 by x plus 1, we end up with x plus 2. And if we divide x plus 1 times x plus 2 by x plus 2, we end up with x plus 1. Now, if we then open up the brackets in the de denominator, we end up with uh, x plus 3 because 2x minus x is x and 4 minus 1 is plus 3. And that's, the, that's as far as we can go with the first, um, x, first question there. Now for the second one, we've got uh, 10 divided by 2x squared minus 3x minus 2 minus 2 divided by x minus 2. Now, I'm aware that you can actually divide this by 2 and divide it by 2 and you end up with 5 and then with 1. But I, I should leave that to the end. But for now, I'm more concerned about how to factorize this one here. Now, looking at this, it will seem to me it's quite possible that x minus 2 is a factor of 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. Now, to test that, if I say using the factor theorem, if I say that x, if I uh, equate x minus 2 to 0, in which case s equal to 2, and then sub substitute s equal to 2 into this denominator here, I'm going to end up with 2 times 2 squared, which is 8, and 8 minus 6 is 2, 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. It then follows that x minus 2 is a factor of 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. So we now go ahead and factorize this denominator here. So we end up with 10 over 2x plus 1 times x minus 2 minus 10, sorry, minus 2 divided by x minus 2. Now as before, because we got x minus 2 and x minus 2 here, as we did over there, if you multiply each term by x minus 2, I've made no difference at all. Very similar to equivalent fractions. So the x minus 2's we then cancel out and we end up with 10 divided by 2x plus 1 minus 2 over 1 if you wish. So our lowest common denominator, our lowest common denominator is now 2x plus 1. In which case we then have 10 minus 2 into 2x plus 1. If we open up the brackets in the numerator we have 10 minus 4x minus 2. Minus 2 because when you open up the brackets, this minus here, we change that to minus. Okay, so we end up with um, minus 2 there. Okay, and that then shows that, um, sorry, 10 minus 2 is 8, and so we've got 8 minus 4x. All right, and because 8 and 4x have got the common factor of 4, we then end up with 4 into 2 minus x. 
Now you must factorize just in case the, the denominator and numerator have got a common uh, factor. In this case, they haven't. And there we end this second exercise. Now for the third one, uh, please have a look at the next slide. Right, uh, this is the last of the trio, and we need to factorize the both the numerator and the denominator. Now, the numerator should be easy enough, hopefully, and we should have uh, x minus 3 into x minus 5 divided by 2x squared minus 7x minus 15. Now, for the numerator, if we check, now minus 3 times x will give us minus 3x, and x minus 5 will give us minus 5x. Now, minus 5x plus minus 3x will give us minus 8x, and we got minus 3 times minus 5 will give us plus 15, and x times s will give us x squared. So we're right. So, you know, the, 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 these factors are correct for this numerator. Now, the denominator does present a bit of a problem. So what I tend to do, is to list the factor pairs of the coefficient of x squared, in this case 2, and the factor pairs for minus 15. Okay, so for 2, I've got 2 and 1, and for 15, I've got either 3 and minus 5 or minus 3 and 5. We could have done uh, minus 1 and 15 and 15 and minus 1, but you know, using that common sense, that, that was not going to work because 2 times 15 is 30, that's way out for a start. Right, so we are saying here that either the factors of the denominator will be 2x plus 3 times x minus 5 or 2x minus 3 times x plus 5. Now, which is it? Now, if we cross multiply, so 1 times 3 is 3, and 2 times minus 5 is minus 10. So minus 10 plus 3 will give us minus 7. And that's what we need for here. Okay, so we've got minus 7x should be that. We're lucky first time around. Now let's do the alternative and see what's happened. If we do uh, 2 times 5, that's 10. And then 1 times 3, and that's minus 3. 10 minus 3 is plus 7. But we need minus 7. So that's so that uh, alternative is not going to work. So it's not going to be 2x minus 3 or 2 and x plus 5. So that's not going to work. So now we end up with x minus 3 over x, sorry, x minus 3 times x minus 5 divided by x 2x plus 3, which you got from there, times x minus 5, which you got from there. So now the x minus 5s are common to both the numerator and the denominator and they cancel out and we end up finally with x minus 3 divided by 2x plus 3 and we can't do any more to this fraction here and that's that is our answer thank you for watching and i see you again sometime please subscribe bye bye now